What's up, Leo? Welcome to your Fine Facts Harem. I'm Brandon Lippy. And right now I'll be doing a reading for all Leos out there. It's going to be a general health reading, and I'm going to get you some added messages from the Money and Law of Attraction cards. Let's get right into your reading. Hope you all are having a great Saturday. Alright, and the first card that I'm getting is the High Priestess. And with the High Priestess coming out, this is showing the secrets are going to be revealed to you right here. It's like uh, behind this pomegranate curtain. Um, that's what the High Priestess does. The High Priestess is a seer. Some, some, somebody who has vision, somebody who's a psychic healer, somebody who uh, gains their knowledge through overcoming difficulty. It's like the, uh, the dark and the light here. She's seen a lot of ups and downs in her relationships, and she can help you through yours. Yeah, she's going to aid you. The Emperor. The Emperor has to do with aid, protection, power. Um, the Emperor has vision as well. His is not a psychic vision, though. His is a vision for how he wants to build his empire. And the Emperor has a lot of strength and stability. The High Priestess can see that, and she's going to come to your aid. Uh, there's going to be a big change for you coming in. I have the death card. So the death card has to do with uh, death of old ways, endings, and new beginnings. Uh, so this is you transforming here. You're going to be going through, I see you going through a difficult relationship, starting a new one now. Um, and that's what transforms the, uh, the high priestess, is overcoming the difficulty in the relationships. So you could be overcoming a difficult relationship with a Scorpio. Um, that's what the death card represents, is the sign of Scorpio. Uh, so I see you um, ending one cycle and beginning a new one. And now you have a good relationship coming your way. You have the Four of Wands here, which is a card that has to do with romance. It um, also has to do with uh, bringing people together here. So you could be going to an event, a party, um, or just there's a lot of people there. And these are good people to be around. This Four of uh, Wands is telling you these are very uh, caring, stable people. And uh, they are very uh, fruitful to be around. This is a fruitful, abundant card. It's a next level card as well. So if you're friends with somebody, this shows that you guys could be getting into a fruitful connection here. You could be getting into a relationship. Um, you could even be getting into a relationship with Scorpio as well, I see. And you're going to be in a position of strength and bargaining here. You have the Three of Wands coming out. So this is a card all about trade and bargaining. Uh, saying trade and bargaining are on the horizon. Um, so you could have um, a lot of financial opportunities coming your way. Um, just a lot of things coming your way in general. This is showing that you're in a position of strength here and your ships are coming in. Um, could be with an Aquarius. Um, you have the star card coming out here, which uh, represents the sign of the Aquarius. Um, this also shows that there will be a lot of growth here for you. Like they're pouring uh, this, uh, these waters into the grass here, there's going to be growth here. It has to do with, with balance, so make sure you're, you're well balanced. Um, this is a good omen card. So this is showing that anything that you uh, vision uh, will manifest. What did I tell you? I'm, I'm getting a lot of cards that have to do with vision, manifesting visions here. You have the high priest that has to do with visions. You have the, the emperor that has to do with vision. Um, the death card, which has to do with ushering in a new era. So there's some big changes coming in. And there are going to be uh, changes in your favor uh, with that three of wands. So you have a lot of opportunities coming your way, a lot of good things, a lot of growth here. Yeah, Ace of Swords coming out. So it's a card of great force, a card of great change. This is a card of, a, of an aha moment. So you could get an idea that changes everything for you. This is a new communication coming in. So I see you're going to be communicating with a lot of new people. You're going to be, uh, you know, exchanging uh, ideas. Could be exchanging um, physical goods with people. Could be exchanging a lot of phone numbers. But yeah, I see a lot of communication coming your way. I see you working for a position of strength here. A lot of people want to be in your position. So they'll be, they'll be reaching out to you. You see that you're making a lot of positive changes. 
that you have vision, a lot of creative ideas, and you have love coming your way as well. You have the two of cups here. So somebody wants to start a, a strong romantic um, encounter with you here because they see that you're very passionate, you're very creative, you have a lot of good ideas coming in, you have a lot of opportunities coming your way, you're working from a position of strength and bargaining here. So, yeah, you, you have a lot of things coming your way, and uh, I'm getting that it could be with a Scorpio. That's one sign I am getting here. And I'm going to get you a added message here from the uh, money and law of attraction cards. Okay, and the, the message I get for you, Leo, is rather than complaining, I will focus on positive aspects. Rather than complaining, I'll focus on positive aspects. And the message you have on the back here, it says, when you focus upon lack and an attitude of complaining, you establish a vibrational point of attraction that only gives you access to more thoughts of complaint. Your deliberate effort to tell a new story will establish a new pattern of thought, providing you with a new point of attraction from your present, about your past, and into your future. The simple effort of looking for positive aspects will set a new vibrational tone that will begin the immediate attraction of thoughts, people, circumstances, and things that are pleasing to you. So, that's, that's what I get here. You're going to be changing your focus. But the death, the death is all about uh, uh, change, all about endings, right? So you're going to be ending an old cycle that didn't serve you. You're going to be starting, ushering in the banner, banner for a new era. Because the death card represents the Black Plague, right? That's the, the War of the Roses here. War of the Roses, the Black Plague, which was a time of death and suffering, which was followed by what? The Renaissance, which was a time of celebration, fun. And I get that you're going to be doing a lot of celebrating, it's like when I saw the Four of Wands coming out earlier, a lot of people are going to be coming your way uh, to communicate with you about um, you know, how you got in this position. So a lot of good things are coming your way here, Leo. And that's going to be your reading. If it does resonate with you, make sure you like the video, claim the video, subscribe to the channel, click that little bell so you get your readings next week. You don't want to miss them. And also donate to continue to help us grow here at Profound Effect Terror. You know that in my Cash App, my PayPal, my Venmo. There's my app. There's the Cash App right there. A little money jar. Add to it. Help us grow. And like I said, large or small, I love all donations. You know, you all, I treat you guys like a million for coming on the channel and just showing your support here. So I want to say thank every every last one of you for coming on my channel and showing your love and your support. God bless you, and y'all have a great weekend.